The human race has been toiling soils for thousands of years, and that isn't going to end anytime soon. The reason is quite simple. Almost every healthy meal we eat is a farm product, from our vegetables to dairy and even some snacks. Our food is grown on the farm, and behind every farm is a hardworking farmer making sure he has a good harvest. Farmers used to be seen by society as mere laborers, but times have changed, and you can't help but want to be on a farm after seeing what these modern-day farmers have put up. One of these hard working modern day farmers is Mike Mitchell and today we're going to show you why he is the best YouTuber to follow. You don't want to miss out on this. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Firstly, if you are new to this, I'm sure your question is, who is Mike Mitchell? He is a 34 year old farmer from Saskatchewan, Canada and unlike Mitchell Pritchett, he loves farm life and has been farming since he was 16 years old. Farming for Mitchell is a family business. According to him, his family has owned the homestead since 19 10 when his great-grandparents moved to Saskatchewan from Scotland. Over the years, there have been a lot of Mitchell farmers, as the family split up and others started their own farms. The farm belonged to his grandfather and father, but Mitchell and his two brothers have began to expand and modernize the farm. The crops they grow on the farm are wheat, durum, canola, chickpeas, red lentils, and green lentils. They also adventured into growing other crops, such as soybeans, sunflowers, barley, oats, and flax. But they weren't quite successful as they lost a lot of money. He has several fields for farming. One is 5,500 acres, another 2,300 acres, while their smallest field is 40 acres. Anyway, if Mike Mitchell were to answer your question, here is what he will say. I am just a crazy farmer from Saskatchewan who loves what he does and loves to travel the world. I love the everyday challenges of farming and decided to show you a little sneak peek of life on an ever-changing farm. Next up, you must be wondering how a farmer made his way to thousands of followers on YouTube. Farmers are no longer silent about their profession and the most courageous of them have opened YouTube channels to take us into the farm life and that is exactly what Mike Mitchell does. The man loves what he does and one day he decided to share a video of a pullout between a two track and a fan for fun. Surprisingly, it got three and a half million views and his YouTube career kicked off from there. After his first video went viral, he decided to do pros and cons reviews for the budding farmers and try out new equipment and ideas for the farm. Making YouTube videos came easy to him. According to Mitchell, he makes his videos in one shot. He could shoot a 20 minute video and get all the necessary information in it without having to make cuts or edits. The longest it has taken him for a video is three tries and if it doesn't work after that, he moves on to something else. Mitchell has dedicated his YouTube channel to showing us the day to day lifestyle on a farm. He mostly posts videos of tractors, seating and farm tours. If you are not a farmer but you love tractors, then you should be on Mike Mitchell's YouTube channel. For a farm as big as Mitchell's, you can expect to see different tractors. In a tour video, he showed us some of the big tractors they work with on the farm. He showed a 4840 John Deere tractor, which they called Burt. According to Mitchell, they are awesome tractors, and he has over a dozen of them. The 4840 is the best used with grain carts or auger wagons. Some of his other tractors are Fent 720, the UX 11200, Brant 16 HP 120, Case IH STX 440, which he called terrible and many more heavy tractors. You could also learn a lot about tractors from his channel. He shares reviews and the pros and cons of his machines as well as the right way to maintain them in order to prevent them from developing issues or worse, overheating and exploding. Next up, all of Mitchell's fields and farm put together covers between 40,000 to 45,000 acres. Now that is big land. Who would not want a tour of such beauty? If you are wondering what he could do on the land, you could check out his YouTube channel or get a glimpse of it from here. Of course, there are the crops and tractors on the farm, but he also has several structures built up to process seeds and store their grains. Next up, there is no farm without fire. Mitchell's farm has suffered some burns and like in one of the videos he made, it is just one of many fires. And in this video, he shows his viewers how to handle a farm fire. Anything could start a farm fire from natural lightning to farm equipment and a power line. But the most important thing you will need when there is a farm fire is a water wagon, so much water, and a pro till. Here is what you can learn from Mitchell's farm fire video. Once you turn off a farm fire, you need to pro till the soil in order to level the ground and turn out the heat. Sometimes after the fire goes down, it smolders in tree roots, and the heat could be there for some hours or a couple of days, and when that happens, there are high chances of the fire starting up again. His advice? Farm fires may be inevitable, but always turn it out the proper way to avoid soil 
soil damage and try not to get so close to a fire. Up next is Mitchell's Farm is a family business, so virtually everyone in his home can move a tractor across fields. His brothers, nephews, and even his wife. Mitchell shares more than farming content on his YouTube channel. He also shares videos of himself and his wife doing Q&As, videos of her helping out on the farm, and a couple of videos of their dog, Bentley. His wife is also a bit of a farmer herself, and she sure knows how to handle the farming equipment. There are a few videos of her driving a tractor, a combine, and even working on the mechanics of some of the machines. He also shared a video of her 31st birthday on his YouTube channel when they all went camping and trail driving with their mini trucks, and according to Ashton, it was the best birthday. They are adorable as a couple, and watching them live the farm life together is such a beautiful sight. Up next is, he also shares videos of his harvest, so if you want a top-notch view of a bountiful harvest, then you should be on that channel. In one of his videos, he takes us through his annual harvest. First, they have over five combines set up, each with a header, and they set out to the field to get their grains. Although they ran into some mechanical difficulties with the combine, they still left the field with a truckload of grains. He also dropped a couple of lessons, including one on knowing your yield. According to Mitchell, if you really want to know what your yield is doing without the help of the combines, you take a mild test. Do the math on how many acres you can cover in a mile and how many bushels you can put in your hopper tank. Another tip, whenever you make a stop, always check your combine as something could be loose, leaking, or burning. Mitchell gives first-hand experience of the farm life that would make you fall in love with it. That is, if you aren't a farmer yet. Next up, there is a lot to learn about Mike Mitchell from his YouTube channel. And trust me, most of the things he does and the things he likes are pretty interesting. In one video, he shared his love for going to the auto mall, equipment dealerships, his love for keeping tires, and going on test drives, and basically everything about vehicles. He once shared a video of his time at a Porsche dealership and told a story of how he enjoys going into high-end car dealerships with his work clothes just to keep the dealers on their toes for fun. One more thing guaranteed from watching Mitchell's YouTube is a good laugh. He has a ton of stories to tell, a lot of jokes to crack, and just so many things to say. He is a crazy farmer, remember? Up next is, if you are in the market for a good tractor of farm equipment, the right place to get the best review is on Mitchell's YouTube channel. There are several videos of him reviewing and comparing different farm tractors up on his channel. Mitchell is a big fan of two particular tractor brands, Fent and John Deere. In one of his videos, he does a comparison between a Fent Ideal 9 Combine and a John Deere Combine. Combine. Here are a couple of differences he spotted. The John Deere S6090 has yellow lights, and the Fent Ideal 9 has brighter lights. The Ideal 9 has a wider header than the S690. In another video titled David and Goliath, he made a comparison between a Fent Ideal 9 and a Massey Ferguson 760. It's like a Fast and Furious Farm Edition with Mitchell and his tractors. There are so many options to pick from, and so many tractors and equipment tips to learn from his channel. That is a wrap for today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you stick around for more exciting content on this channel.